Hey everyone, I'm Nate. No, I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and I couldn't be happier because we're out here at our local airfield to get a first test flight in of the Rise Fusion 250 race drone. Uh, it's a little windy out, but I think this will be able to handle it just fine. There's a wasp on Abby's camera, so bear with us just a second. There it goes. <laughs> These bugs today. We good? Yeah. Okay. Now, most of you guys that are buying this and watching this video have either already bought it or you're considering buying this because it's going to be the perfect first hobby grade race drone with a uh, modular arm replacement, which is amazing. Uh, we talk about that a lot in our unboxing and first impressions video, so be sure to check that out if you wanna hear more about the parts and what this thing has to do. There are some things, some features that we are still learning, uh, for example, when I came out here, I sat down to read the instruction manual before this flight, and I recommend you do the same. And I realized that this has uh, blinking lights when it gets low, and it starts to beep when the battery gets low, which is a great, great feature for especially a newer pilot. Also, one last thing before we do our first flight tips here is uh, if you happen to lose this, if it goes down, let's say you lose your video signal and it crashes, it puts off a uh, beep it emits a loud beep when uh, the signal is lost. So if you lose it in the field or the woods or something, helps you find it. Great features that I don't plan on testing out. Uh, I don't wanna have to test that out, but it's worth telling you guys, because that's amazing that most race drones don't have. So let's get the battery plugged in and get this thing in the air. I've got a few things ready to go here. I did bring the goggles out today, but for your first flight, you want to fly line of sight and then maybe jump up to uh, this on the transmitter for FPV and get a feel for the quad and then put the goggles on. That's what I'll be doing, especially because I've never flown this before. So I only got a feel for it. Now what we wanna do for the very first flight, it says in the instructions to do a sensor calibration. And uh, I wanna walk you guys through that because this is a real first flight. I haven't had power to this or anything yet. So um, I do want to try and film the flight so I added a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in the side of the quad. It's going to record a direct feed of what the camera is seeing, but not the FPV quality. I believe in order to record that, we'd wanna put the card in the uh, actual uh, monitor here to show you guys a recording of the quality. We'll do that in a later video. So to do the sensor calibration, we wanna obviously take the panel off transmitter always goes on first on any hobby grade vehicle uh, because let's say you put the battery in first if it's not set up right these guys could get power and spin at full throttle and really hurt you so it's very important that you guys always turn the transmitter on first which if you watch our other reviews is why I like to do that even on the little toy grade quadcopters it's a safety thing and I suggest that all vehicles you do that first until you know for sure that you can turn the quad on before the transmitter. Again, transmitter on, we're throttled down. I'm just gonna get my wires placed in here. Also, uh, very important tip, very important tip, before you get power to your quadcopter, make sure the antenna is plugged in. If you have power to the quad too long and the video transmitter doesn't have the antenna to go to, you can fry your video transmitter. Super important tip, very, very important. Not just making that up, that is very important. So let me just plug my battery in. Cool. Let's see, Let's see what the best way to do these wires are here. I guess until I fiddle around with this some, I'm just gonna leave them kind of out of the back right now. I imagine I can probably tuck those in there a little better later. So let's go ahead and uh, push this in. We want to set this down on a level flat surface. So for now, I'm going to set it on the sidewalk here. So we want to uh, turn the transmitter on, center all the trims. Sounds good. The long beep is centered. Okay, they're all centered. Place the Fusion on a level surface and link the quadcopter with the controller, which is what we did. Press and hold the right stick in its lower right corner and move the left stick down and to the right. When the LEDs on the Fusion start to flash. They were flashing. Okay, good. Uh, release both sticks. The LEDs will stop flashing when the calibration is complete. So I believe we're good. 
Now in order to take off. Does it say what color the lights are supposed to be? Uh, yeah, the rear lights are red and the front lights okay. are white. So it's a good looking bright okay. LED. It's pretty bright out still. And you wanted me to take off over here? By the chair. Oh, okay. okay All right. Are we ready to try again? Yeah. To start the motors, you go uh, throttle down and to the right. And this quad does have an idle mode. If you leave it in idle for three seconds, the throttle turns off as a safety feature. If you need to turn the motors off instantly, throttle down and to the left will turn them off. So let's go ahead and try to take off. We're in beginner mode, which is a stability mode, which means if I move it to the right, for example, and then let off the stick, it will self-center. But we do have to manage throttle control. A little windy out, so if, I, if you can't hear me too well, I apologize. I'm gonna just take it a quick spin around the block. It's so fast. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't wait to fly FPV on it. It feels good. So this is beginner mode? This is beginner mode. And, uh, well, here. That's beginner mode? Well, uh, not even close. This is beginner mode. Wow, that's fast for beginner. Uh, and it's not even full throttle or, uh, here's, here's full Gotta pitch. Gotta speak up. Here's full pitch. Well, I need to be flying FPV because this is, <laughs> I'm already pushing the speed a little bit on it. And yeah, that's beginner mode. Now, I think if we adjust modes to uh, go up one, now it's going to be a little more sensitive. I'll come in closer. I just wanted to make sure I had elevation when I did that. And uh, I can throw the pitch almost, yeah, I can go flat almost, but it won't let me, it won't let me flip it over, but I can go flat. So what's this one called? I don't know the names of the okay. modes, but let's just call that. it like intermediate, you know, <laughs> okay. it's the mid level. Now, if I were to flip it one higher, I could do a full acro mode, flips and things. And I don't want to do that without flying FPV because uh, I'm more comfortable flying acro mode uh, with FPV. So I'm going to go back to beginner mode, land this little guy, and turn my camera on. Make sure the video signal works. That's the whole idea for this test because we're, we're still new to all this. So I'm going, I know the lighting, I'm sorry about that, Abby. I'm going to uh, hook this guy up, open that, get my sun shield opened, and uh, let me pop my camera open. Camera's up. Now, when I turn this on, just a little switch on the side, I have a signal. And I'm going to go ahead and record. Filming just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and take off and test my video range and make sure it will work. So I'm still flying line of sight. What I'm doing is glancing down to see my video range to make sure I can fly here safely without losing it. It looks pretty good. I still have signal. Uh, happy with that. The sun's a little bright but that's okay. I'll uh, spin it. I'm just testing video range. I'm flying kind of slow just to test the range. And everything looks pretty good on this. So I want my immersive feel. I am going to put my goggles on and fly FPV. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm gonna stop filming. Okay, and now I'm gonna slap this guy in the goggles. So I'll just set this down for now. I want to probably turn that off just to save a little juice. Fold the sun shield in. Did you stop your filming? I did. Okay. And just pull up on these two tabs on the bottom and uh, pops the little sun shield off. Now that'll fit in the goggles. Let me go grab my goggles. In case you missed our unboxing and first impressions, I just wanted to show you how easy this is since it's your first flight. That's held on by magnets. You just lay this in here. It just lays in. It does not snap or anything. And then the magnets hold that in. And it's got strong magnets. It's not going anywhere. So, uh, oops, I'm sorry. See, my first experience here on this. We want to turn that on first. We've got the power on. And now we can put it in. And now I can wear my goggles. So you I've record got... from the transmitter? Yeah, record button is on the transmitter. Oh, okay. Which is super nice. So I would probably eventually take this little thing off because I'm mostly going to fly with the goggles. Yeah. But for now, I'll leave it on. There's my video button. I'm ready to take off. Okay. So I'm going to sit down and uh, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. 
I'm excited though. All right, my angle is up pretty high. Woo! Tell me when you're gonna be ready. I am gonna do video. Okay, we're in beginner mode. I want to talk, try to try to talk a little loud so you guys can hear me. Whoa! Okay, the angle, the angle's what turned me off. <laughs> you are fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, Super so this fast. is one of my first quads I've ever flown with uh, the angle the way it should be. Holy moly, oh my oh. gosh. Okay. All right, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, the sun is really bright right now. I picked an awful time to fly, but that's all right. And we're doing good. It's, it looks great. My, my video signal is pretty much crystal clear. I mean, with the exception of the occasional you may want to talk like really loud, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, the, the video signal is, is pretty much crystal clear. Uh, I just have a really bright sunset that is uh, making it harder to see. Are you recording? I am recording. Cool beans. But I can see everything really well. I have some telemetry on my screen. I don't know if it's the quad battery telemetry or if it's my uh, goggles. I think it's probably the monitor telemetry, but my range is great. Everywhere that I'm flying right now, I can see perfectly fine. I got to keep it forward so that I can see where I'm going, but it's awesome. Now I'm not really pushing it cause I'm, this is a new quad and I'm just trying to get a feel for it. And again, I cannot see very well because of that sunset. It is very bright. Once I go about here, it's blinding me, so I gotta, I gotta be a little careful where I'm, where I'm flying, which way. Now, if I'm looking this way, it gets a, it gets a lot better. I can see where I'm going. I think it's fast. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I feel so. like I could be going faster. Really? Oh yeah. It can go faster. Oh my gosh, yeah. I just gotta keep it off the ground. Ooh. The sun is blinding me. Wow. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's try going this way. Okay, I heard a beep. When I throttle punched it, I heard a beep. So I want to take it in for a land. Landing. Abby, we pull my goggles up off of my face for me, please. Uh, hang on, hang on. I can't. You have glasses. Okay, hover. Am I going up or down? You're going up. Okay, good. Oh, I love, there you are. Okay, I whip my glasses off. Goggles. So, because the angle is high, so I wanted to pull my goggles off so I could see to land. I'm gonna bring it down. Stop the video. So here, that's here the beeping. battery, right? That's a low battery warning, which is amazing on a quad like this. So you ended up getting like uh, four to five minutes, which that's is normal. really good. Normal. Okay, and see the lights blinking on the back? Telling us it's low. So that was an amazing first flight. I, I wish that I had I wish I had a uh, better, like not the bright sun. So I'll have to fly midday or something and give that a, another test. I'm going to unplug this though. It stops beeping. And there you have it. There is my first flight on the, uh, on the Fusion. I think that for my next flight, well, one thing I should have done is peel off the little protective uh, <laughs> thing on the camera. So if the camera quality didn't look great. Uh, Nathaniel Sailor. There's a little protective film on the camera. You there. are horrible about that I stuff. Didn't see, I didn't see Did it. you take it off your monitor? Yeah, not this. So that probably would have helped oh, a lot. Oh man, Nathan, that's gonna look terrible. Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> Be sure to tune in for the next video where I don't have the protective film on the camera. Oops. Epic fail. Well, anyway, Epic fail. I think on my next flight, I would angle it down just a bit. So, uh, and, and not fly in the super bright sunset. It's very hard to see. That felt really good flying for a first flight. I'm extremely happy. Everything's still in one piece. Landed the, bat uh, landed the quad when the battery was getting low. The motors are like uh, maybe just lukewarm like me i mean they're not hot at all this was awesome this was awesome <laughs> you're lukewarm i'm lukewarm i'm lukewarm i'm nate warm actually all right so anyway again we're the rc sailors we have all sorts of fun with this kind of thing all the time we will get this in the air a lot more i promise you i can't wait to start pushing my limits on it and i hope that you guys want to see me uh, start doing some acro mode and things on this too so be sure to tune in for follow-up videos that is just a first flight and kind of things that you need to do to get it set up for your first flight. Uh, thanks
Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.